Many people solve this problem, or don't solve it, by trying to set up an algebraic equation. And many people get lost. But a nine-year-old solved it like this. She said, if three slices are a third of a pound, then nine slices would be a pound. And we need a quarter of that, so she said that would be nine uh, to four slices, because that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And she didn't get lost by trying to think of standard methods. She thought about what she knew, and she drew it out, and then the solution became clear. Well, we also seen that solution is something we want to share with you, which is the importance and power of drawings and other visual representations in math. When mathematicians work in math problems, they represent them in physical things, with drawings or with other representations. Drawing, like talking, gives access to understanding. I always sketch any ideas that I get when faced with a math problem. It really helps me. So here are some examples of people using diagrams to help them solve problems. Hi, Emily. Um, so I have this homework problem and kind of confused about it. Um, they told us to do this. It's one half divided by six. And I remember there was like a rule, like multiplying something or dividing. Yeah, you're right. There is a rule for dividing fractions, but I think it makes more sense to think about it visually. So what I like to do is draw a shape. Okay. I'll draw a rectangle and we can say it's a chocolate bar. And then divide that chocolate bar into halves. So that's one half. Okay. And then divide the half by six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now it's one half divided by six. Yeah. So this is the area that we are looking at, and yeah. that's one twelfth of the entire chocolate bar. So oh, it so equals. The answer of that is just one twelfth. That's right. Oh, that makes total sense. Thank you. That's really helpful. Yeah. So while you're here, could I ask you about one of my of course my problems that I was having trouble with? Yeah. Um, okay. So I had it was x plus 2 mm -hmm. times x plus 3. And I know you're supposed to, it's called foiling, right? Like first out or something? Or Yeah, there's something like that. Um, honestly, I'm not really even sure about that. I just have this really cool graphic method that I learned, and I think it might help you. Okay. So like, you draw a rectangle, right? Like that. Do, do, do. And then um, you divide it like this. And so you have, you're multiplying <clears throat> x plus 2 times mm -hmm. x plus 3, right? OK, yeah. Um, so the area of this um, rectangle here is going to be, well, it's a square, actually. It's x times x. So the area of this is x squared. Oh, OK. Right? This one here is x times 2. Right. So it's 2x. Yeah. And this one here is going to be 3 times x, 3x. 3x. Mm -hmm. And this one is just 3 times 2. So that's 6, right? OK. And so you just have to add all of it. OK, so the answer is x squared yep. plus 5x yep. plus 6. Exactly. Oh my gosh, that makes there so much go. sense. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and now, like, did you see that last homework problem? Yeah, was, oh like, my gosh. It was really confusing. Don't work on it together. Yeah, that's a good idea. OK. Julie needs to fill her aquarium with salt water. She needs to add one quarter of a large bottle of salt water, but she only has four small bottles. But if, OK. Mm, if four bottles are two-thirds of a large bottle, how much of the small bottles should she use? Why doesn't she just get like a large bottle and just one for it? I, uh, I don't right. get these math problems. Anyway, um, we should probably try to draw it out. Yeah, visually seems to work well. Yeah, it's so. been working so far. OK, so she had four small bottles, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like one small bottle, two, three, Four, right? Okay, yeah. And those were two thirds of a large bottle. So maybe we can draw a large bottle around it like this. Okay, that's that's so a good idea. One third, two thirds, and then that's the final third. Okay, that's the final third. That makes right. sense. And we're trying to get one fourth of all of the large bottle, right? Mm -hmm. So we just divide the large bottle by four. Yeah, that. So it'll be like divide it there by half, and then there by half. Yes. Right? And so we're just using one half, one half, and one half, three halves. 
That makes sense. Oh. I See, that was it. way easier. Awesome. What did you learn from watching those visual solutions? 